uh, one of our groups, Scubrick, uh, is actually coding out uh, their app as opposed to using the App Inventor platform. Um, and this is something that we didn't anticipate happening. What we think is that a lot of students, they get cluttered with work and they don't know what to do and they're having bad grades because they're not organized. So what our app does is um, it helps them get organized. Since our tech mentor, Eugene, he knew a lot about coding, uh, me and one of my um, colleagues, uh, Ryan, we could program the whole app by ourselves, and we could actually start from scratch instead of using App Inventor. They're getting like uh, a skill set that can be utilized for like the rest of their life. I believe like Ryan, uh, after I taught him, uh, I spent some time with him, he actually built a website on his own. I honestly think this, this program is phenomenal. The student app ideas that you know, we're really proud of come from students that have some type of personal story or personal connection as to why they wanted to create the app. Um, so one of the groups, Beautiful, um, wants to create an app that enables students who you know, might not always fit in with their peers in, in high school. Our first idea of the app was to have people vent out their feelings and their problems and then we thought maybe we could be people meeting other people who have the same interests and so they don't feel alone. Let's say if you like art, you could go to events where there's other people who enjoy art and it just gives you like that feeling of you're not alone, you shouldn't be ashamed of yourself and that's where we got beautiful, so just be yourself. I really like to think of programs like Gentech as an entry point to a new world. We were able to cobble together a whole bunch of different companies, big and small, uh, for the good of this program and really to put it on the map in a way that it simply didn't exist before. They supplied mentors, they hosted events, and it was just a, a great way to get a community built around helping young people. When we had a guest speaker, his funny comment at the beginning was, well, the first piece of advice I want to give you is that everything is hard. It's always hard. Um, and he said, second piece is that it's harder than you think it's going to be kids come into it thinking it's going to be a lot easier, but the fact that it's not easy and that they persevere ends up being the greatest combo of all. It's not easy. It's, uh, it's rough out there. But you, one thing you learned is if somebody hasn't done it yet, you do it. I feel enlightened. I, I feel really good about myself and hopefully this will help me get into a better college. I created an app. I wonder what else I can do. The second day that I came to the class, I was sitting next to a young man, and I said, is this helping you? And he looked at me and said, Mr. Mariotti, it is life-changing. I feel that I have leapfrogged five years ahead and learning both entrepreneurship, ownership, and basic skills and technology. I felt he captured it. I think these young people over the next 15, 20 years are all going to have unique careers and in part will be traced back to this very unique program that gave them a head start in entrepreneurship and technology. I want to thank our partner in administering the program, the Network for Teaching Entrepreneurship, as well as the students, parents, teachers, and mentors who participated in this fantastic program. I also want to thank the many innovative New York City companies who have supported this program and provided our students with such valuable mentorship and learning experiences. Keep up the great work. Thanks to your skills and talents, New York City is well on its way to becoming the capital of innovation in the 21st century.